going on guys hope everybody's had a great thanksgiving here in america and for all of y'all watching elsewhere i hope you're having a great weekend so we had a great time you know this was tung chinooks and mine's first holiday or th first thanksgiving together and it was pretty special uh, my sister come up or come down you know with her family from oklahoma and we hadn't you know me and my sister hadn't had a thanksgiving together in probably 20 plus years you know because i've always lived way way far away so it was a great experience and you know we had the fried, deep fried turkey the ham we you know went all out for it so yeah it was a really great time with all the family together and tung chinook getting to experience her first thanksgiving so as you've seen on you know the title of this video so we are preparing and you know i guess i need to back up a little bit you know We've never talked about Tung Chinook's daughter on this channel, I don't think. And, you know, there's really a reason for that. And, you know, when me and Tung Chinook first started, you know, getting serious and talking about her coming to America and stuff, you know, it, it was her belief that, you know, she wanted to come first. And then if everything worked out, then we would bring Jow over and, it, you know, it, it was a decision that I fully supported because, you know, we needed to get to know each other. Yes, we loved each other. Yes, we wanted to be together. But you never, quote, know until you've actually lived with somebody for an extended period of time, learn their habits, learn their dislikes, likes, and, you know, et cetera. And she didn't want to, you know, subject her daughter to that transition period, you know. And, and I agree with that. But, you know, so... I guess it's been like a month and a half now. We've been trying to get ready to start the K2 process. And for those of you that don't know, uh, you have, according to what the lawyer told me, now that's working on our green card process now, you actually have one year period where you can file a K2 on the K1. So within that first year, uh, it should go seamlessly and the process should be sped up. So but the the hurdle we're trying to overcome right now is that you know Jow doesn't have a passport and right now she's living with Tung Chinook's mom and her mom's husband and so yeah that that's our problem you see because Tung Chinook obviously is her mom her legal guardian well so guardian and in order to take a minor anywhere to do something like that you know you have to have an adult there so what we're having to do is what i call i mean it's basically like a power of attorney here in america it's just two two pages that you have to fill out and of course it's all in tie for me so i don't know what, really what it says but the way tung chinook explains it is she's giving you know her mom the power of attorney to take jow to the embassy to get the photo you know get the passport done so you know we got that form she talked to the embassy here in D.C., and she talked to them three times, you know, to get everything, you know, what she needed to do. So she fills out this form. We get it notarized. It also takes a $30, $30 cashier's check. It has to be a cashier's check. And you send that to the embassy here in D.C., then they, I guess, authenticate it and stamp it or something, and they send it back to us. Then we have to turn around and send that... Uh, to her mom or the embassy there. I think it's to her mom and she takes it. Something like that. Anyway, we ain't got that far yet. So here's the problem we're having is that we did everything that the embassy told us to do. We sent it in. Now they've had it over three weeks, but guess what? They can't find it. 
Now I have the UPS tracking number. It shows that it was delivered there. It was dropped off at like 1.29 p.m. And yeah, they can't find it. But also in that package, they required Tung Chinook to include her Thai ID. Not a copy of it, but the original. So now she's lost her Thai ID. We're gonna have, and yeah, they're telling us that we need to redo all of this and send it back to them. Now, of course, they're telling her, well, you can just make a copy of your passport photo and send that to us. And, you know, so, but she needs her Thai ID. So she's furious. I, I'm pissed off as well because, you know, time's running out for us. I mean, she's been here seven months now, I think, a little over seven months. So that's five months we got, you know, to get this thing started. And a hiccup also that we've come into is, you know, with the COVID restrictions in Thailand, her mom can't take Jiao to the uh, embassy to get this done because she's not been vaccinated yet. You see, her family lives on the outside of Surin, you know, very, very country. And the vaccine is not as available there. It's something, the way I'm understanding, it, it's something like a waiting list and you got to pay for it as well. So something, you know, the vaccine that Thailand started out with was the China vaccine. And that has been proven, you know, not to be very good. And in some cases, you know, may not be good for people that's in bad health, which her mom is. So a workaround that Tung Chinook and her mom has come up with there is getting her mom's husband to take the vaccine because, you know, he's in better health. So once we get all of this crap straightened out with the embassy here in DC and they stamp that and get it back to us, then we ship it over there. It's going to be her, uh, her mom's husband that does this, but then we got to get him the vaccine. And it's just been a fiasco, you know, trying to deal with the uh, embassy here in DC. She's had, I don't know, four or five conversations, you know, just arguing back and forth with them. But, you know, we're going to have to do something to get this straightened out and get this process moving along. Because like I say, we're running out of time. You know, one thing I will say, you know, I'm not going to be using uh, the lawyer that we have here in America for this K2 visa. We're going to be using the lawyer that we found in Bangkok that actually helped us, you know, with prep her for the interview, get all the documents that she needed when she went for the interview, because that lady's been spot on in all of this. And I'm going to be using her, you know, when we move back to Thailand as well, because you, you need, you need a good lawyer. And the first one we hired, you know, that's, you know, we already prepaid for and everything on this, as far as our K-1 visa and, you know, I prepaid for the green card. So I'm, I'm, trying to get my money out of him, you know, as far as getting this thing done for Tung Chinook. That really don't have no update on our green card because, uh, you know, last I told you, you know, we got the confirmation from the USCIS that they had received it. So we're still waiting on that next step, which I believe is the fingerprint, which leads to her getting a work permit and, you know, the ability to travel. So we're still waiting on all that, but I'm praying, you know, that we can get, uh, the K-2 visa, like I say, since we're running it under her K-1, it's hopefully going to be a lot faster. I'm praying, you know, that first half of next year, you know, we're on a plane back to Thailand to pick Chow up and bring her back here. So that's the updates I have for you on the green card slash K-2 visa. So, you know, wish us well. I hope all of y'all are staying strong and have a good week, guys. See ya.